Welcome back to On Base Live. I am your host, Mookie Betts, and today we have Francisco Lindor. How you doing, bro? I'm doing great. Living the life I always wanted. All right, bro. So, so you got four All Stars, two Gold Gloves, two Silver Sluggers, and one big beautiful smile, bro. <laughs> so you said uh, you would be a dentist if you weren't playing baseball. What? Tell me, how, yeah. How, how did that come about? Like my teeth were. I always had a good shape of teeth. My tooth were, they had a good shape. However, they were beat up, man. Okay. It was like neighbors that never been, met before. <laughs> they were, they were, they were there, but they weren't living together. They were in different rooms. So what did you do? What did you get braces? I got braces. Okay. Yeah, I got braces. And and um, my dad couldn't really afford them when I was growing up. Neither my mom and my dad always said, "No, you're fine. You're good. You're good." And so I I signed. Professionally, I said, man, I got to get this. That's the first thing. Oh, well, we'll talk about what the first thing you got. <laughs> so, so I like to uh, play this game called On Base, Off Base. You know, right. you're in or out. Mm -hmm. First thing is Lewis Hamilton will win another championship. I'm in. You're in on that. I'm in. You're on base on that. So, Lewis Hamilton, that's your one of your favorite drivers? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and are you a huge F1 fan or just a big driving fan? What are we talking here? I am. Uh, I'm... I'm a fan of the sport, but I'm also a Lewis Hamilton fan as well. Okay. Um, I, I respect his um, background and and what he has done for the for the F1 um, sport. You mm -hmm. know, he he transcended it. He crossed the bridges, which is one of the things I'm sure you want to do. Some of the things yeah. I want to do as well. You know, cross bridges and and um, not just impact baseball people. Just everybody. Just everybody. Are you gonna go in November? Uh, and, if I got a chance, Vegas. yeah. If I got a chance, I mean this. Um, I mean, I. We always got something. We always do have something. To we do always right. got something. You're right. So if you got the chance, if he has a chance, Lindor will be there. I think I'm gonna go too. Yeah, I've I went never to been the, to a race and nothing like. I that. went to the one in Austin. Oh, how, how was it? It was sick. It, that's when I actually fell in love with the sport. Ah. It was 2019, I believe, and I went with New Balance and. Like, it was one of those shows where it's almost like the U.S. Open here, where it's one okay. of those events that you get into it, and you're like, wow, this is, like, very, very clean, very cool, very, like, just organized. And I like going to places that I I can be on their radar. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, oh, yeah. I know. That's... So, so do you just you just watch him go around and, and like, <laughs> yeah. yeah? I'm just trying to figure oh, you out. Just what made it sound like I, I mean I don't I'm not disrespecting the sport. You know, but yeah, you they just, go they, they go around. They, you just, disappear, they disappear for a couple of seconds and then all of a sudden they boom, you hear the, the car driving by. Again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So on base, off base. What about pineapple on pizza? And I have my opinion about this. Um, I'm off. Why are you off? Because fruits you keep it separate. And because I'm a pepperoni guy. Oh, uh, you're a pepperoni guy. Pepperoni. pepperoni. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I, I'm off of, on pepperoni. I mean, uh, pizza, uh, the pineapple being on pizza. Um, yeah, I just have Italian friends and Italians say pineapples do not go on pizza. Yeah. Other than that, I don't. So you've I been don't. educated on it. Yes, yes. Yeah. But other than that, I don't have another reason for it. Yeah. But it makes perfect sense. Fruit over here. Yeah. Pizza over here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So what about okay? Buying your teammate a car for personal accolades. Um, I'm on for it. I'm on okay, for it. Okay, so um, you said you would get Daniel <laughs> a car for the batting title. Yeah, I, I will I will get a car. It's just a matter of what car I'm getting. Yeah. Okay. That, <laughs> that's that's the that's the the question. What car am I gonna get my teammate for winning the batting title? Yeah, so when when are you I think the the fans out there yeah. and myself, we're all making we're we're trying to figure out when is he gonna do this? When are you thinking about doing this? I don't know. Just whatever. It, it's my wallet. Okay. So, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, it's gonna happen. It's gonna, when it's gonna at happen? At some point, though. Yeah. Not sure when. Yeah. But you're it, gonna make it. Might do be a Hot Wheel. It might be a golf cart. <laughs> okay. It might be. You a didn't nice say. Car. You didn't specify. I when. didn't. It was a walking by thing. The person was in the other side of the room. I said, "Man, if you want to buy it, I'll get you a car." Okay. And. Boom. Your wallet, and so you determine what kind of car he What gets kind of car. And when he gets the car. When he gets the I car. Love that. I love he that. He will get the car. He will get the car. promise you that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about uh, are you in or out, on base, off base? 
on uh, naps during, really naps in general, naps at the field. I'm in. You're in. So, so do you go to the field early just to take a nap? Or what um, are we talking here? I always go to the field early. Um, I try to get to the field one thirty, two o'clock. Okay. Um, but before BP, I mean before game, I always, I always try to take a nap. How long? Always 20, 25 minutes. That's the perfect. I feel like that's the perfect time. Yeah. You start going more than that, and you are flat out tired. Yeah, you're Wait, asleep. <laughs> yeah. You don't want. I don't want to be. I don't want to be sleep. No. You know, I just want to get re-energized. Yeah. I, I function very well, very well, extremely well in. When I fall asleep in the car and also I get up, I'm ready, uh, then you're, I'm ready to go. You're ready so it's to the go. Same thing. Okay. Same okay. Thing. So so what about I it was said that you took a nap during a rain delay in the World in, Series. In the World Series. I went so this is what happened. I I walked in the clubhouse and the whole entire clubhouse was wrapped up. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. That's number one. Yep. Mm-hmm. It was wrapped up. I didn't want to see that. Right, I didn't want to see it. Yeah, people scattered. They go in. They went in different directions. Some people stay in the clubhouse. Some people went to the kitchen. Some people went to the. And I went to the weight room. Okay, and I was so like nervous, and the whole entire month. You know how it is. That yeah. that first time in the playoff, that whole month, especially making it another way. I had stomach ache after stomach ache. You know, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, like it's okay. the butterflies are just constantly there. Yep. and I went to the weight room and I. In the this those um, mattress that we have yeah. in the weight room, I just laid there, and I was there for like ten, fifteen minutes. Um, yeah, and and then I I got up, and it was like, all right. I'm but ready. how did you fall asleep though? Because you the, the you're it's in the World Series right now, and yeah, like what? Well, yeah. Well, I mean, how did you get sleepy? Uh, no, it's not about it's not about being sleepy. It's about putting your mind. Putting your your body and your mind in a different state where you oh, can okay. doze out. When you go to I don't, I don't know if you ever been to a meditation class. Yeah, okay, no, I've never have. Go to it, and I I don't. You could be sleep for ten hours. You go to a meditation class. You start taking yourself to different breath. You start taking yourself to different um, moments. You doze out. Mm -hmm. you doze off. Like you. You you are there, but you're not there. So you didn't. Did you even realize you fell asleep? I. I no, it was one of those where I was trying to like calm myself, just lay down, and then all of a sudden, all right, let's go, let's go back to this. You know? So you were you, it, and it asked. It wasn't it like came, I was trying to fall asleep. No, no, you, yeah, I was you trying were just to like, you. you were trying to calm down because yeah. you knew, especially when you saw the when the clubhouse being wrapped up, you know what that means. Yeah, yeah. So you're, yeah. you're now it's like okay, you know, we're about to win, you know, X, Y, and Z, whatever. Let me just go calm down because we do have to finish the game. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm I'm sure their clubhouse probably was wrapped up. I'm I'm not I don't I don't know this for a hundred percent, but I'm I think we were in extra innings. Like yeah, we, yeah, we, it was, either one. Right, it's game seven. Yeah. So I'm sure both sides of the clubbies were. We don't want this to get beat mm -hmm, up. Mm -hmm, you know what I'm mm -hmm, saying? Mm -hmm. Um. So I I'm not sure. I never asked them, but I'm pretty sure their clubhouse was. They probably had champagne on their side. We had champagne on our side. It was just a matter of printing the logo and saying yeah. Cubs <laughs> or Indians. Okay, so what about Donovan Mitchell will play for the Knicks? Are you on base or off base on that? I'm on. I'm on base. Yeah, are you? You're you're, base. you're just a sports fan in general. Yeah, I'm, I mean, you're Donovan uh, Mitchell. Are you Donovan? I'm a Donovan. He's, a, he's a Mets fan. Yeah, right? I'm a Donovan Mitchell. So you're you're. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of people. Oh, okay, of players players yeah i so, i follow sports because of players not so when you go watch an nba game or a knicks or i'm sorry or a uh, nfl game mm -hmm. you're gonna you're not necessarily going to watch the team not really you're going to watch whoever's playing yeah i'm, yeah. I'm like that yeah I, and and number one i I get the sport, but I'm not fully educated. I never played them. Right. I never okay. played those sports, so I don't. I don't know all the little moves and strategies that happen in the game, you know. And oh, I would do this play. I go because I know someone, and or I know the players. Player is really good, mm -hmm. and I I love seeing athletes at the highest level. Yeah. 
play, be at their peak. I love seeing the best athletes play the best. Yeah, yeah, that That's just cool. makes me better. Yeah, and it's very cool. It's inspirational to watch. One hundred percent. Yeah. So okay. So what about talking to uh, talking to your infielders or third baseman, second baseman during the game? Do you talk to them during? Are you on base or off base on that? Yeah. I'm, so I'm, and this is not just hey we're about to turn two right here hey two out this is know. just a, having a regular conversation regular conversation you do this regular conversation so what what like what would be a conversation that you and I call him Mac but uh, Jeff what do you what what would be a conversation that y'all talk I about mostly talk to my right side so Beatty yeah Beatty with with the Indians who was Ramirez yeah um, Escobar oh sorry Guardians no no, no I was with the Indians. With oh, the Indians. okay. I never played Hello. for the Guardians. Yeah, you so know, that's new, with that's the Indians. Order. Yeah, with the Indians. You I couldn't with. say with the Guardians yeah. because I was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you there. I just didn't want to offend anybody. No, 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 no. Now is the Guardians. Yeah, yeah now it's the Guardians. We, yeah, we got that. But when I was there, um, it. I'll give you one yesterday. Um, with Beatty, we were to. I like to be in the moment. I like to look in at. I like following the baseball okay. and then putting my sights on the catcher's mitt. That gets me back into yeah. the moment, back in the game. And I would tell Beatty, Beatty, he's swinging. And Beatty's like, no, nah, not this pitch. Mm. You know? And we go back in, okay. boom, okay. And then it's like, all right, you're, you're up. No, he's not swinging. Like, yeah, he's swinging. Okay. You know, we get back in. Okay. I think okay. just stuff like that. Keep your um, and I, I know being a shortstop, when the game was slower, I was able to spot, spot everybody yeah. in the field. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody that I wanted, friend, friends, family, wife that came to the game, I knew exactly when they got up and when they didn't. Yeah. Do you still, do you, even though it's going quicker, do you still, because if my wife's at the game, my friends are at the game, I always look for them, yeah. wave to them, yeah. let them know, like, I see y'all, yeah. I know y'all see me, yeah. all right, now I can go focus on the game. Like, do you, is, that, yeah. is that kind of a thing for you? It, it is. It truly is. It's, it's one of them where, I'm here. You're here for me. I'm here for you. So yeah. I'm putting on a show for you. Yeah. Guys. And so I, yep. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Okay. So let's switch gears. Going into this season, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but not even going into the season. This season in general for the Mets. Yeah. Y'all, you guys' owner came out and, and he had kind of talked and, and said, like, you know, at some point it's on the players, right? The players got to play better. And, First of all, how do you, how do you feel about that? How was the 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 clubhouse kind of when that went on? Like when he said that? Yeah, no, it, that press conference he kept it so when he said it, it was at a press conference, mm -hmm. he had a press conference, mm -hmm. and um, he kept it very professional. He kept it real. He um, and when you educate in a subject, most of the time you're gonna be in tune with what's happening, right? You know, and I respected it. I, I thought it was a great press conference, um, and he's right. Right, got to play better. Yeah, you know we got to play better. I said it yesterday too. Um, front offices can put the best team together, and and on paper. Yep. But if us the players don't execute and don't come out and and do the job, it's not the best team. That's exactly what it is. I mean, that's exactly what, like we're we're the ones that affect the game the most. Obviously, yeah, yeah they do make you know, pitching changes and whatnot, that affects the game, right? Mm -hmm. But even the guy has to come in and execute his pitches. Correct. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I, I definitely respect him for saying that. But what what about the, the vibes in the clubhouse? Like, when he said that, was it like, okay, did you, like, did, you're the leader, obviously, yeah. right? You're signed here for a long time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody respects you. Everybody loves you. You know, I'm sure you got some other leaders, right? But you, mm -hmm. I would say when you think of the Mets, you think of, Frankie Lindor mm -hmm. and so did you have to kind of have a meeting or was it something that's kind of understood you didn't have to talk about like what was it what was the vibe it, it's coming into the field it was definitely a very different field mm -hmm. it was it was one of those where you are you're walking in and you see um people almost like trying to figure out understand what's happening I'm like guys Nobody's getting fired today. Right. Like he, he's, he's educated. He understands. He gets it. He respects it. He, if somebody was gonna get fired today, it would have happened already. Uh -huh. It's not gonna be in a press conference. He's fired. Yeah. 
right, you know. Right. It, it might have been news for everybody else, but not for the players right. and not for the coaching staff. Um, once the press conference was done, it was like, all right, he yeah. gets it. He, he is exactly where we are. He's right. We got to be better. And then you guys played, and, you know, I think it was like a week or so right mm -hmm. before the break. You mm -hmm. played well right before the break. Mm -hmm. And so now coming out of the break, what what is something that – did you guys have a talk like, okay, this is what we're going to do going forward? Um, you know, and obviously this is, we're in the big leagues, right? We're all yeah. professionals. We're all 30 years old or 20, you know, 20 years mm -hmm. old for some of the young guys. But <laughs> um, So w what is it that you guys are, are trying to do in a small, like the small details? Like, are we going to, you know, pitch better? Play? Obviously you're going to do everything better, but what small details that are you guys going to focus on to get you over those hump, over this hump? Yeah. I think it's just a matter of the attitude and just being there for each other. Okay. Yep. That's you know, huge. It, it, it's 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 not one of those was like, man, I gotta be a better defense defensive shortstop. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. whether we're playing well or not, I gotta be better. Right. You gotta be good. Oh, I gotta be a better hitter, playing well or not. You gotta you be. Know, that, yep. the, the mentality for us is not like. Um, just because things are going bad, I got to play better. Right. You know, things are going good, I've got to play better. Yep. You know. No matter what. No, ma no, no matter, matter what. what. No matter what. It, it's you hitting 240 or hitting 320, you still want to be better. Yeah, you still want to be. And you, that's the game. That's this game. This right. Game. And that's, 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 we, that's the grind that we love. Mm -hmm. That's our competitiveness. It's like a chase. Yes. Yep. It's that chase of. Being the best, yeah, like, just being the best. <laughs> it is so hard. <laughs> you know, it's it, so hard to it do. It is. It, it, we just got to focus on on playing the the game, putting games together. Yep. You just got to put the games together. All, yep. Just, all just, all aspects of the game. Put it. Together. Put it together. Put it together. That's you know, hard. It's hard. It is. It, it is very hard. So, and we both have played for big cities. You came from the Indians. Yeah. Now and then came to New York. Mm hmm. What is it like being in a big city when you're going from Cleveland to, to New York? Like, what was it like? What was that transition like? Not not the baseball trans or I'm sorry, not the moving on, just the the pure city transition. Like yeah. how 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 is that for you? Um, what was it like? It was good. It was good, it, but it was tough. It was it was tough to in Cleveland. It's almost like I saw the same people. Okay. You know, yep. and here you see the same people as like the workers, like the 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 security guards. They're the same, and you you build a relationship with them. Whoever is opening the door in the clubhouse, yep. you know, you build that relationship with them. And the same thing in Cleveland. And I love the organization. It was amazing. The fan base was was great. Coming in here, I I always heard. Big market, big markets, and I just thought the big markets was the the media. Okay. Yeah. No, I, uh -huh. I just thought it was just gonna be okay. There's gonna be more media because that's what every time I went to a bigger market, like to play against them, there was more media. There's always more media. Yep. Right. It wasn't like it was the same amount of fans: thirty-five thousand, mm -hmm. forty thousand. Mm -hmm. 30,000, whatever, same amount of fans, but there's, now I understand that it's more, it, the fan base is, a, is bigger, you know, and you, you see more Mets hats, you see um, people coming in and out. I always take the time to try to sign um, autograph before a game, like okay. five minutes yep, yep. Um, before a game. And in Cleveland, I could see like a oh, man. I got you. I got you three weeks ago. I know. <laughs> I know. I seen you, man. So or like, no, man. I got you. I got you twice yesterday. Yeah, on, man, yeah, yeah. Here, I have those, but it's it's, it's hard. It's it, hard and to it's, see that. Yes, and it's, there's always new people. Yeah, you know. And to me, that's cool. Yeah. It, it's cool to to interact with um, other people as well. What about what about? It being tougher. I, I mean, I'm su I'm assuming you know playing in Cleveland, playing anywhere really is mm -hmm. is not nothing's gonna be easy, right? Mm -hmm. But now you're in New York. Yeah. Like if you don't play well in New York, they let you know. Uh, quick. 
quick. And so how is that? Like, how, yeah. how do you use that? What, what, you know, what is it about that that you like or dislike? That was one of the things, that was one of the things I couldn't understand in the beginning. I got booed um, essentially two months. <laughs> two months every day, <laughs> okay. you know, and I could, and I made my the fair amount of my mistakes. You yeah, know? I wasn't sure. hitting, and so it. you know they they're doing it. I wasn't performing. They're 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 letting me have it, um, and I didn't get it. I didn't understand it. I I, I I'm like the thought that I always had was, man, I'm giving everything I got. I'm trying to put up a great show for for my family, for the fans, for the organization, and for myself. It's just not. It, it, it's. I just it's not translating, mm -hmm. and I was making the mistakes, and and then I finally understood. I talked to a lot of veteran people, veteran players, and I talked to a lot of people that played the game here, and they said. And I also had conversations with people that were just fans. Okay. Um, and they said, we just want the results. You could be anybody. And if the results, the results are not there, you're going to hear it. Mm -hmm. And that changed, changed my mindset. It was like, oh, I, I got it. I got it. So I could get a base hit, they'll cheer, and I could strike out or roll over into a double play, and they're going to boo me. Or they're just going to be mad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, I got it. It's the results. It's the it, it's, yeah. I'm the one that's putting the the results. Yep. However, but it's most likely the result. And then when they see me in the street, they're gonna say hello. Yeah, you that's know? exactly it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I that kind of yep. I said, man, I I'll play hard. I'll do whatever I gotta do every day. I I just gotta be better. Yeah. You know, I've been saying that ever since I got here. I just gotta be better. I just gotta be. I probably say it the rest of my career. So, so how do you balance? Let me ask you this: How do you balance? Because this game is, yes, it is result oriented. It is. It is. But it's but also it's process oriented. Yeah. So how do you how do you balance the two? Because we have to stick to a process mm -hmm. in order to get to the result. And right. it's not that process doesn't always yield a result. Like we could do this process over and over and over again and get different results that are all negative. Mm -hmm. So how do you balance no, I'm not going to say worrying is the wrong word, but no. getting the result that you want and need for yourself and for the fans, mm -hmm. but also sticking to a process. You bounce with your teammates. You just feed up them and you up the, with the coaching staff. You, you stay. You got to – your foundation got to be very strong. Okay. And you have to understand that the process is the most important. The results are going to be there based on the process and how you do go about your business. Um, and just don't cut, don't get caught up in that wave. Mm -hmm. You know, you just got to, when they say try to be as level as you can, it is a real it's, thing. And that's hard to do. Yeah. Like I, I feel like, because I played in big markets and for me, it, it's, I use the results to kind of direct me in my process. So if I'm rolling over a lot, then I change my process in order to fix the rollover in order mm -hmm. to get a new, new result. But I got to stick to the process because if I don't do a process yeah. and I just focus on results, horrible. Yeah. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna be terrible. Yeah. And, and you're not, you don't, you don't know what to fix. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't know really what it is because. You know, it's just a, a mindset, and mm -hmm. it's hard to uh, it's hard to switch your mindset. And, and that mindset that that's that's very important because you can focus on the process, you can fo focus on mechanics, you can focus on whatever you got to do in order to not roll over. Mm -hmm. But if I go to the box working on what exactly what I was working in the cage, I'm gonna be late. Yep. So then I'm gonna lean back. Yep. I'm gonna roll over. Yep. And you're gonna do the exact same. Thing. <laughs> you know yeah. That's, yeah. You spend all day. <laughs> fixing it and then you do the same stuff yeah <laughs> so let me ask this bro you got two kids yeah man mm -hmm. how is that it's fantastic when i say i'm doing living the life i always wanted that's it i always envision myself like this so how how do you uh, say the first i don't want to uh, how do you say the first name i'm apola Amapola. Amapola. And w d what does that mean? Does, is Amapola, a it's that flower. It's the hibiscus flower. Oh, okay. And it's the okay. national flower of Puerto Rico. It's my favorite flower as well. And I, in my tattoos, I I have a couple of Amapolas. Okay. And okay. to me, 
that name it's so different and so poetic it's just like amapola i don't know it's, <laughs> I, just, I just love my little amapola <laughs> right so so what is it like having two kids though like at the same time because for me i'm gonna tell you my experience yeah. right i just had a little boy he's three months and having two kids <laughs> one is cool one is hard and you know but you got the wife there and you don't you don't have to you know, it's two on one, right? Mm -hmm. But now we're playing man to man defense. Yeah. And boy, when I tell you, <laughs> it is hard. Yeah. It is hard to yeah. do. And then, you know, we're at the field, and so it's hard on the wives. Mm -hmm. But man, like, what's your experience like? Because mm -hmm. for me, it is. Woo. <laughs> so, my little girl, there is a stage where it's boob, it's change the diaper, yeah. and hoping full sleep yeah um so to me my time is changing the diaper that's my time all okay. right diaper my uh, my turn let me grab her okay. boob i like i got yeah, nothing, nothing you can do I, about I, nothing yeah. i can do about it um it is it is challenging balancing the time between the two because I want the older one to protect the little one, uh -huh. but also stay confident enough that she don't need the attention from nobody to strive in life. So, yeah, and this is deep, and she's two and a half, but this is where it starts. Right. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. protect your little sister. She's going to protect you, but at the same time, you don't need mommy and daddy's attention or her attention to make you feel good in life. Was there any jealousy? Did, she, did the, old, the oldest have any any jealousy or, or anything? I don't know. I haven't sensed that. She wants to hold her. It's okay, a real good. life life doll. That's awesome. You know, she That's wants awesome. to hold her. She wants to play with her. Um, she's saying, I want to dance with Amapola. I'm like, mm -hmm. baby girl, not yet. She yeah, can't, right. she yeah. can, but she'll be there. Um, but I, going back to your heart point, my wife apparently is sleeping great. How? I don't. She say I sleep more than I slept with Kalina. What? I don't know how she's doing it. She's blessed. But my friend, my little girl, my Paula, she be making noises that she she says sleep. She's like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I'm like, this is what? I'm, I'm with Kalina. I can sleep for two hours and okay. be good. Yeah. This one is like, ah, ah. And that ah, keeps you up. She's she's fussing. Yeah. But she sleeps and she don't cry. She's amazing. I'm blessed. But it's like I touch her. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a fool. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. I'm a Talk to me. Like, yeah. what? If I move you, you make noises. If I don't move you, you make. I think she's like a, a loud sleeper. I, there like, are those. So. Whenever she marries someone, good luck. Sorry about it. Yeah, yeah. I'm Apollo's, I'm Apollo's coming in with the noise. <laughs> yeah, I'm Apollo's going to be noisy. <laughs> <laughs> so your your and your oldest daughter, she loves Buck. Yeah, she does. She, she does. said that, right? How, how, how do you feel about that? How, how's that? It, is it, it weird? It's good. No, no, it's good because hey, Kalina is very social. She's very okay. social. She she can walk around. Everybody knows her in the clubhouse. Mm -hmm. um, she's, she finds her way through... Um, the kitchen and get, gets ice cream. Oh, nice. Uh, okay. Yeah, so it, <laughs> she, she yeah, she, she, yeah, my little girl. <laughs> I'm in love, man. I'm yeah. in love. It's uh, to me. And that's important because she's going to feel that. And yeah. That's what she's going to look for when she gets older. Yeah, yeah. No, she, she, she definitely, every time we get in the clubhouse, she always finds her way to try to find. Oh, yeah, of Buck. course. Oh, yeah. nice. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, so, <laughs> um, great. yeah, Buck is a great guy. We all love Buck. Um, I mean, he's been around so long. He's yeah. he's, he's got to be awesome. Yeah, he is. He truly is. He truly so, is. in this year, you're on pace for a th the most power you've hit. <laughs> um, you know, me as well. I, and it's weird because you know, coming up, we weren't power guys. I we don't. didn't. Bro, I played in, in high. I had one home run. Yeah, you, yeah. See, what I'm saying. One and, and now, you know, maybe because we're 30. You know, I don't know what it is, but, um, you know, it's weird. It, I, I, having 26 homers right now, it's, I don't even know what to think. It's like, yeah. I don't, and then I did the home run derby, which mm -hmm. I don't even, whatever. We'll talk, we'll talk about that in a little yeah, bit. We'll, but we'll, 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 we'll we got to have a conversation about it later because 
You always say, I don't hit home runs in batting practice. Yeah, which I don't. But in the game. In but yeah, you went to. All right, continue. We'll, we'll talk about that. Yeah. But, yeah, having the, the 20, like, and, and it's it's weird, man. It, it's really weird. And so for you, like, what what is it like? Like, how are you, do you feel like you're a different player? Not even player, but hitter, or, or what is it that's, you I, know, how, how is, how, what is the power, what what what, contr- what is contributing to the power, should I say? I, I think it's, it's a byproduct of us chasing the perfection of us, of people telling us, he don't hit for power. Mm, maybe. Because I'm not there. Subconscious. Oh, yeah, I'm not. Th- oh, I'm trying to hit home run. I'm not doing that. I'm trying to make solid contact, get a good pitch, and don't miss it. Right. And and I have learned that my power doesn't come from my upper body. It's my legs. And if I'm grounded. It just it just does it. Yeah. It, 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 it happens. You know, it, do I expect myself to hit 40 home runs? No. But I expect myself to have a good exit velocity. Drive um, the ball. Yeah. I expect myself to drive the baseball. Especially batting third, too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of your it's kind of your job. And so, really, you're just kind of honing into your job. Like, yeah. you, know, you know what I'm saying? Just drive, yeah. drive the baseball. Yeah. Over, when I was leading over. off, my, my thought process was, I'm gonna drive the base, but I'm gonna get to second. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna get to second. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get to second. Now it's I'm gonna drive the base, but I'm gonna get the guy from second home. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so it it it, it almost like you don't change as a hitter, but the mentality changes. Okay. Of what approach you yep. gonna take yep. to the plate. And so and so, what is the biggest? going from leadoff to third what is the biggest mentality change that you had to that you had to go through in order to for you to be successful hitting third because it's definitely a difference that I didn't have to bring every runner in like every time there was a guy on base I I just stressed out oh because I wanted to so how'd you calm down understanding that if I'm successful three out of ten Four out of ten with people on base, I'm the elite of yeah, the elite. Yeah. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So, like, yes, I wanted the result, but the process of how I went to how how I went how I went through the day and when I was in the box, yep. it nothing mattered but to stay in the zone and focus on contact, hard contact. And and so no matter where you hit in the lineup, that could be your mindset. Yeah. Just get a good pitch to hit, square hard contact, exactly. and that's it. Exactly. Just understanding that this is who I am. And I could be first, second, third, whatever, fourth, whatever, bases loaded, in the tenth, or nobody on leading off a game. Same thing. I am. I over and over again. So, and, and now, now I do want to kind of bring up the derby because I, I, have you – or do you want to do the derby? I will. I will do it. You will do it. I will do so, it. So I'm gonna tell you my experience on the derby for for everyone. <laughs> do I think I'm gonna win it? You have a chance. You do. <laughs> for sure. Do I? Do you see? You you were there. You saw what the guys are putting up. Forty <laughs> home runs in three minutes. <laughs> Forty home runs for me in body practice. That's that's a month. Yeah, yeah for uh, sure. Probably two months. Yeah, I don't. Even, I, don't even, I, don't, I haven't. I haven't even done that. So I'm gonna tell you my my experience for the derby. I do not know how to hit home runs. <laughs> and so I, I and it sounds great. I got you got twenty six home runs. I get it. But, like, the last time I've hit a home run in BP, I cannot tell you when. All I do is hit line drives over and over again. Yeah. That, that's what I try and do. Yeah. And so going in, I didn't practice for it either because I got hot right before the break. And I was like, you know what? I'm not trying, I'm not training for this home run derby <laughs> while I feel good at the plate. Yeah. So I didn't practice at all until 10 minutes before the derby. I went in the cage, and I just tried to start hitting homers. And so I went in there. Yeah, I think you had eleven. Like, yeah, eleven. That's and so <laughs> that's, that's a good round for three years ago. For three years ago, yeah. Not so. for not for these animals now. So <laughs> and, and I go in third swing in, probably my third to fourth swing in. 
I knew this ain't it. <laughs> I got no chance. I got third swing. Third swing. I got no chance. How was your BP guy? He was awesome. He was great. He throws me BP every day. Yeah. And so he's awesome. He he it's practiced first base coach. First base coach Clayton. Yeah. yeah. He practiced yeah. for at least two weeks. So he was locked in and ready. Yeah. And I think I threw him off because I didn't hit any home runs. And so he's trying to find where to throw it. Where you and I'm a, a, in my head, so he's not saying anything. He's like, okay, where do I throw it? Because he's not hitting home runs. In my head, I'm like, just throw it. I'm not hitting home runs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so for me, uh, it was an awesome experience. Yeah. You have a lot better chance than I do um, just because our swings are built a little differently. Yeah. And, and But I, it, it, w- it, was, it was a great experience, but – Unless my son really, 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 really wants me to later on in my career, I will never, never, never again, never do it again. Even I'm just they, not even built if for they that. change the format, even if they change format, because to your point earlier, like what I'm supposed to do with, with when Julio goes for forty, yeah, you know what I'm saying, like twenty six. When Vladdy put up twenty six or twenty six or twenty seven, I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, there's no way I can do it, yeah, and so and the base was gonna be juiced and everything is still didn't matter. The, They're juice for everybody. You <laughs> yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're not just juice for me. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. but what do you think? Uh, watching the Derby, what do you? Mm. What was the most impressive perform- performance? Because for me, Julio hitting 40 was very, very impressive. Like every ball was backspin. But I think when Adley hit what 21 way and then flipped the other seven, side. Seven, I think in, in the row, seven or eight. In a row in on a row. the other side? Yeah, in 30 seconds. I'm like, what? That's what I'm saying. They, they changed the format. We might have a better chance. Maybe. We might have a better chance because we get to take our time. We do. We hit it, pop, and we can sit there and you say, and ooh, it. okay, yeah. this is the swing. I found it. Yes. Pop. Then I can repeat it. But when you're going time, like what, Randy? Did you watch Randy? My God. He was, That was I mean, the most impressive performance oh. for me. That was the most <laughs> Im- impressive because homeboy, it's up, down, swing, come back. Up, down, swing, come back. Nothing, up, down, no swing, come back. No. And he's at home. In the front of the body's box, like he – he kept on swinging so quick and, and, and like, consistent. I'm like, homeboy is going to end up in the grass at some oh, yeah. point. Just. He, at one point, he, <laughs> hit, he hit a high. It was a higher homer. Yeah. I think by the time one land, he had took two more swings. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And then Pena's VP. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's I, a huge. That's a big part. That's a big, because big, homeboy, it's just like. Yeah, right there. I don't know how he got the ball to this hand. Just <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go back to young Lindor, man. So you, from Puerto Rico, yeah, came to the states, mm-hmm. and with no English, with no English. Like, tell Zero. me about that. Tell me about that. How you got here? You know what the reasoning for coming? Yeah. You know, I know you can. When you came, your I want to say your mom didn't come yeah mom initially. didn't come dad so you came with pops yeah and so tell me about that tell me about that transition for you um it was an exciting tough nerve-wracking experience because i was 12 years old with no english and i was going to a country that i didn't sp- speak their language mm-hmm. um in my mind in my mind i was going to play baseball in my mind, in the young Lindor, 12 years old mind. But it was more academics than baseball. Right. And I knew things were serious. When I'm on the way to school, my dad is trying to teach me to say, I don't understand. And I couldn't comprehend it. Mm. I legit, for some reason, it, it, it wouldn't resonate. It wouldn't stay with me. It, I don't understand. And I'm like, Dad, I, my dad got so mad, he wrote it in my hand. Oh, so, wow. you go to school and you show everybody that. So how did and that force you to learn English? No, well, okay. force me to learn English because remember, I in my mind I'm coming to play baseball, play baseball, and I went through the ESL program, English as a Second Language mm-hmm. program. The first semester, bro, our test, they were like, you open, <laughs> you open a book, not even a book. It, you, it's like a paper. It's a paper. You fold it. You open it. And one side had the story, and this side had five questions, multiple choice, A, B, C. Oh wow! And th- okay. those were my test, and like English one. Mm-hmm. And I 
and I would, I didn't know what the, the five, five, six sentences paragraph. Oh wow! I would literally read the question, coming to the ABC. Whatever word matched the first oh, sentence. Oh, that's how you got it. Boom! I got oh, it. Oh <clears throat> wow! And that's how I would do it. And did it work? It, at first, it worked. Okay. But I was cheating the system. Mm-hmm. For sure. So that's what that, you're supposed to do. That, that, yeah, that's what I was supposed to do. <laughs> but that ain't it. Okay. That ain't it. So to kids out there, don't cheat the system. Just get it done. Just get All right. it done. Do it the right way. Do, just do it the right way. Okay. Everybody passed. In the first semester, everybody went on. We took it to a test to see how our English was, if we were ready to go to the second level or third level or go to mainstream. Everybody passed but me. Okay. And that's when things got real. I'm uh, like, man, this is embarrassing. Yeah. This is embarrassing. The girls passed. My boys passed. <laughs> and I'm the one left behind by myself in the classroom. So you had to, did you have to redo, re, the was same, it just a test? The same you, level. No. You had to redo the whole class. And the next semester I stayed, it was just me and the teacher. Just one student in the classroom. Oh my like, God. You know, what I mean? <laughs> you know how like, after, when you when you think you're cool, you, you at first you sit in the back of the classroom yeah, and yeah. You, you have your moment, you know, and all of a sudden your teacher said, you're going to sit in the floor in the classroom. So... No, no, it was just one on one. It was just y'all two. Just one on one. So you was in the back, like, yeah, I'm Frankie Lindor. I'm in the back of ESL, chilling, yeah, chilling, living. And now it's just you and you and with her, my, with my, with my, with my, with my classmates. They were Korean, Chinese, Brazilian, Puerto Rican, and now it's, like, it's empty. Just you, ten chairs, and just me. So, <laughs> so I'm. You passed this time, right? Yeah, and I then, passed it. Yeah. And then, <laughs> woo. <laughs> <laughs> I passed it. And then you go in, you're going through high school, and how how was that whole experience like going through high school? Because you're still kind of learning English at that point. Yeah, uh, it was it was, it was great. It was great. Because at that point, you you're really there to play. Yeah, basketball. I stayed, and then I stayed back um, that summer. I took um, ESL three, and then I went to regular classes. English when you, met, when English. you in mainstream, you were like, "Oh, I made it, bro." Baby. When I'm, I when I tell you, I, f I walked into that classroom with the, all the confidence in the world. I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, but I know English. I got this." I sit down the first week. I'm like, "I got enough. I can't. Uh, I can't uh, figure this out. Hold up." <laughs> so now I'm taking extra, ec ec um, extra credits, and I'm like going to after school. Um, it was. It was fun because it was a smaller school and we all got along and, and, and I was playing baseball every single day in Puerto Rico. We practiced twice a week and we played in the weekends okay. or we practiced one time and we played three games in the week. When I came here, it was every day. And oh, yeah, I loved for it. Sure. And for I sure. loved it. And I live on campus. So it was just like I was waking up at five in the morning, going to the weight oh, room. Wow. After school, I go straight to the field. It was just like a college lifestyle. In high school. In high school. And now school. you have, and now at your school you have, a, there's a, a, the faci facility is named after you. Yeah. How's that? How's that, that's cool. It, How does that blessing. come about? It's a blessing. You know, I, it, the school helped me become who I, well, they, they're a big part of helping me become who I am today. Okay. They shaped me a lot and they helped me a lot. And I'm a big believer in education changes people's life. Right. For, for the sure. better or for the worse. Yep. You know, um, and not everybody's going to be a big league player or right. a professional basketball player or a soccer player. But with education, and you don't have to have a doctorate. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to go through the whole system. But education can give you that knowledge that can help you set up your family. Yep. And, and that's why I always go back. That's why I always try to give back to the education Um system to the school system because that's the future you right know, just helping someone can set their life their life their family's life anybody. yeah generation yep so and then you got drafted eighth overall we're in the same draft yeah yeah you got drafted eighth overall and then how was that so like at at that point you, you know your mom your dad this is why you came to the u.s yeah Right. And so how, how, like when you got drafted, what what did you guys do? Like, you know, what? we were we were in my agent's house. We got drafted and it was all fun. Um, but you don't get the money right. Nope, away. No, we don't. You don't get, no, you, you do don't not. Get that money right <laughs> no, away. You do not. Um, 
So we spent the summer. It was my last summer off. Yep. Our last summer yeah, off. For sure. Yeah, I haven't had uh, one since. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> we got 10 more years, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, we got, I got nine, yeah. nine left. Um, so I don't want summer off. I'm good. Right, I'm we're good. good. Mm-hmm. Um, then once I got the money, I went crazy. Yeah, what's the first thing you got? I went crazy. I bought an iPad. An iPod? <laughs> iPod. iPad. iPad, okay. IPad. You got an iPad. I was in um, a Quality Inn hotel, and they called me and said, congratulations, the money hit the bank account. And you went crazy. And I was like, hell yeah. And I would look out the window. I saw Best Buy. I'm like. I'm gonna go buy something. So you went and bought an iPad, bro. The picture—it was like me walking in and seeing a picture of an iPad, and I said, "I want it." And the guy was like, "What? I want it. What kind? That? That one? How many giga? Whatever's in the picture, you just give it to me." <laughs> and I swiped the car, walked outside with no cover, no nothing. You did? Oh, you didn't get any accessories, bro? No, it was just a matter of buying something. Oh, you just went uh, like just, I did it. The the. The fact that I could swipe my car and not say decline, that was a that, big plus. That's a, you know what it like when you when you know you're going to <laughs> buy groceries, whatever it is, buy whatever it is, and you know your car is not gonna get declined. I think that's the best feeling. feeling in the world. It's a big big feeling. Now, cars do say decline even when you got money. Yeah, they do. They do. <laughs> when they do say decline. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> it's the complete opposite. It's yeah. the worst feeling in the world. It's the most embarrassing thing. It ever. is. It is. It's one of those. You're like, sir, do you have another one? Uh, I'm texting people <laughs> like, hey. <laughs> I know exactly what you're saying, bro. All right, guys, so let's keep moving. So how, well, how was your minor league experience? Like, how? Because for me, uh, like I've well, said a couple of times. league for you? <sighs> The toughest league for me, um, this may sound bad, no. but I didn't really experience, I mean, for a month, which was in, in low A, which is Greenville, South Carolina, this is before they made all the cuts from COVID, right? So we had like seven teams, you remember, you know, yeah. we had like seven teams to go through before we even made it to the big leagues. Yeah. And so the first year, the first year was cool. I hit 260, but it wasn't that it was tough. It was more the uh, mechanical flaw. Yeah. And then <clears throat> I still didn't make that change. So I guess the first year, year and month or so was tough from a mechanical flaw. Once I fixed that mechanical flaw, it was, I, I don't know that I hit under 350 until I got to the big leagues. Really? So yeah, I, I, I kind of flew through the minor league system. So my, my, my experience was, a little different than most. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming yours is going to be very similar to mine, but I do want to hear your minor league experience, like what it was like. Yeah, I hit, I hit well in the minor leagues. However, my toughest one was low A. <sighs> my shoulders got tired. My oh, hips really? got tired. My legs got tired. And that's probably like the first year you're a full season. Yeah, full season. I was hitting like 320, 330. And then I said, I'm finding myself hitting 280. I'm like, oh, my God, what happened? Without even thinking about it. You don't even Without, know what's going yeah, on. Yeah. Yeah. I remember um, playing in Diamondbacks, South Bend. They were in South South Bend in Low A. We were in the Midwest. Mm-hmm. And I went 0 for 5 with five strikeouts. And yeah. I've ended the game and threw a curveball. And I'm like, yes, I got the pitch I wanted. Swung through it. And I... Stood there, I hear the catcher saying good job to the umpire. He walks in front of me. I'm still at home plate. Like <laughs> in, I could not believe I swung a miss. Yeah. And they start shaking hands. I walk back to the dugout. I've never been the type of person that slams their stuff. And I grab my bats, walk up the stairs, take everything off, and go in the shower. And a couple of tears came down, and I'm like, man, this is, this is tough. Yeah, this is tough. I was like, oh, for like forty, oh, for thirty. Oh, okay, so you were going, you were going. I was going it through, through, it. It. through it. I was going through it, and and that's when my dad kind of understood because my dad has always been very hard on me. Mm-hmm. And I called my dad. I'm like, dad, 
you're yelling at me. You, I do not want to strike out. I you. It's not like you're going up there trying. Yeah, I, it, it, this is tough. Yeah. And then after that, every league became easier. Then, yeah. I, then I was just, I would get bored. I would play the game within the game. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, mm-hmm. all right, let me let me try this. You know, let me let me do this. But it was low A, low A for sure. So, so you get to the big leagues, mm-hmm. right? Play, we play for a while with our same teams, and then we get traded. Yeah. And from my my trade my trade experience was awesome. I think I've said this before. It was awesome. Um, the Red Sox did a great job in communicating with us mm-hmm. on kind of how the process was going to go. Weird getting traded though, because mm-hmm. I think as we we all when we get drafted, we're saying like in our head is like I'm going to be a Red Sox forever. Yeah. You're going to be an Indian forever. Yeah, you know, sure. and that's just not the reality of the game. And you that's fall in love with the franchise. You fall in love with the franchise, the process, the people, that you go, yeah, yeah, everything about it. Yeah, yeah. And and so when you got traded, like what was what was that like for you? What what, what was you know what what was was it weird? What were you sad? You know, yeah. what was it? There was so same thing, same process. They they educated me. They told me what was gonna happen and what wasn't gonna happen. And previous years there there've been talks about getting traded, but there no nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen. And then once things got a little serious, they told me, hey, things are gonna be a little more serious. It's it's real. Mm-hmm. Um, and they gave me a couple of teams that the talks were a little, they were warm. Yep. Um, and then they call me and say, hey, you're going somewhere, but you're not going by yourself. Oh, okay. You're going with okay. someone and we're going to make sure you're you're good. And I appreciated that, you yep. know. And, and then it was just like a exciting time. Like, yes, this is cool. But no. I'm gonna miss everybody. Mm-hmm. I'm not going. I'm right. not going a good yeah. year anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you know, not a good year is the spot. But I'm yeah. not going a good year. Um, and you miss the clubbies. You miss. You miss the people. You know that. And organization is made by the people. Right. And and you miss everything about it. But then you get here and it's like okay. You get used to it. I, and, and you know you develop. It's not the trade that that is weird. It's really like. Now you take a different route to work. Yeah. Not like yeah. you said, you don't know, you don't know the guy that's hoping, opening the door. Mm-hmm. You don't know the people that are parking your car. Like you, you don't know, you don't know them. Like so, and it's we did like, a pandemic years, and that's when we did it. So it was even, but it, it yeah, it was even harder. Like I, it was good for me though because the Dodgers have a lot of workers, like a lot of front office, a yeah. lot of analytics. Their their analytics team is big, and so. I slowly got introduced to everybody. I could only imagine yeah. if we got traded during a normal year, like mm-hmm. getting to meet so many new people at one time. Yeah, it probably would get super overwhelming, and you probably may kind of go into a shell I, a little I just bit. You didn't like the mask. People. Yeah, like the mask was because I felt yeah. like I didn't know anybody. Yeah, you don't get to yeah you don't get I was, to see facial features. I was features, with them nothing. for a year, but I still didn't know. Like yeah. the following year in twenty two, I see someone I'm like, who are you? Yeah. Who, who, Hey, who is he? Yeah. Oh, that's so insane. Don't get to have conversations with people. Oh, what? You know, and um, for me, like, I'm all about smile. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, that that just brings another element to conversations, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, when you if you only see this, you don't know. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, you, you, you don't want to talk to anybody like that. That's you know what I'm saying? Thing. Like, that's I get into that personality yeah. as well, you know. Put my hoodie, put my glasses on, and I'm looking down. That means I don't want to talk. Don't talk to me. Yeah, you know. So okay, so you've been a shortstop your whole career, and you've been at the top of the game. Um, your whole career. Mm-hmm. What does it take, like being a big league shortstop? Obviously, you got to be an athlete. Um, you got to be able to make plays, mm-hmm. make the routine play for sure. Mm-hmm. But what is it? that for you that makes it that keeps you at the top of your game in 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 being a shortstop like being you're constantly a top five shortstop every year what is it and this has nothing to do with hitting this is purely defense Mm -hmm. what is it that you do or what is it that you just kind of got that that keeps you at the top of the game my concentration level in defense is different you're locked in it's just different it's for some people they say hitting it's easy for me, hitting is not. 
guy. For me, I, I worked for what I've done in my career extremely hard. And yeah, my, my average is not there, but it's just hitting for me just hasn't, I haven't mastered that one. Mm -hmm. Fielding, it's the concentration I have there. I try to match it in hitting and I haven't, I haven't achieved it yet. You know, it's for me, you're staying low, you're just moving my feet, not stopping your feet, it's work through the ball, step throw, that I can do in my sleep. Right. Yeah. So that's what it sounds like to me. It's like, because I feel like I'm very similar to that. Mm -hmm. When it comes to defense, it to me it's just like kind of effort. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna be be good at. It. I'm gonna work hard at it, and I'm gonna be fine. Like, yeah. I'm gonna know how to right how to, you know, play defense. Right. I'm gonna be fine on defense. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to hitting, like I really had to work to learn to hit. Yeah, yeah. Hitting, hitting is is hard. Yeah, it. And if you if you don't, like some people just naturally got it. Some people just naturally know how to hit. Their swing is there. That's, yeah. It's like, man. And then their thought process is there. Like I'm seeing high school kids that their thought process is like, what? You got this right now already. Right, yep. Like I'm I'm 29. I'm still trying to accomplish that you know it, it but defense it's just stay low keep your feet moving watch the bounce <laughs> got you yep now you're mine now step throw and it just it just works you know and we're gonna make errors yeah of we're gonna we, it's gonna happen you know and the errors become they come when you try to do something a little faster and maybe it's the thought process like i'm gonna I'm going to throw the ball like this and you don't have the ball. Or right, I'm going to step yeah, on the base yeah. and you don't have the ball. And then it's like, bah, bah, everything speeds but up. But I feel like for you, though, for you, that comes because you got to a ball that you probably should, had no business getting to anyway. Mm -hmm. And you realize, like, ooh, I can make a play on this. It's going to be hard to do. Mm -hmm. And then then that's kind of when that happens, right? Because yeah. every routine ball, I don't, I, I don't think I've ever seen a routine like error from you. Yeah. Which is shout out to you for that. I appreciate you know what that. I appreciate well, it happens. It happens. I'm sure there's a couple of clips out there. Uh, I mean, but, not very, but not very often. Yeah, but it, it's one of those where it's it's, it's just. I guess it's the bless. Is the we've it's been. Bless, I mean, that's just yeah. what you what what we've what been God blessed with that. With. Yeah, this is what God blessed. Yeah. With. Excuse me, Frankie. Yeah. I have. I have He's struggling. I see. It. I see. Right now, you're trying, I'm trying to. to figure it out. <laughs> well, uh, can we get a little help on the code for my iPad? You know, I uh. Yeah, I should have. Uh, I should have known that. Hey, Sorry, guys. Hey, hey, it was one of those where he tapped it and he couldn't recover. Couldn't recover. You, couldn't you know what I'm saying? Recover. You, I, I tried you kept to look it down, looking somewhere else. Yeah. Like man, someone. I give couldn't me get it. Cover. My bad. My bad for no. throwing you off like that. Sorry. Man. So, so w what about who? Who would be your top five shortstop in the shortstops in the league right now? Oh, right now. Right now. Um. Turner. Okay. Um, wait, we talking hitting or overall? We talking I would say fielding? just I would say just overall. Just overall. 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 Okay. Um, all right. We got Turner. Bogarts. Okay. Um we can put in there I think Franco. Wander. Wander. Yep. Wander. Um can put them in there. We can put um, Seager. Seager, is, yeah. Um, I'm. Mean, I got four. How, how would you not put you in there? Why? Why would you not put you in there? Because I got you in there all day, every day. It's not my job to put myself in there. Okay, that's fair. It's not my job to. That's that's a valid point. Uh, if do I believe I'm the best? Yes. But it's you're not my job. It's not, it's not my job to yeah. put myself you're in the top in, five. Internally, yeah, okay. You know. Well, I'm putting you in there. Well, I appreciate that. Thanks. I'm trying to crack. Uh, look, <laughs> I'm trying to crack the top five in shortstops. If I get a couple more games played, you're gonna play shortstop. Because I see you at second. I think you have like 19 starts. Yeah, second 20 starts. Yeah, 15 starts. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Um, yeah, second. That's, you know, I grew. I came up playing second. I got 
I, so you're I gonna got, play shortstop. A dream came true. I got to play shortstop. Okay. And I've been playing it. And um, you know, when Miggy Rowe needs a day, then yeah. usually I'll go and uh, I'll go and play short. He's, I think you got it. No, I, th- I think so too. But th- but th- but th- but you got some tips for me? Like you, you like what what <laughs> what could what could Frankie Lindor give to to Mookie Betts? You know, for t- some tips to anybody, but to you especially, it's play offense and defense. Keep them separate. No, no. Play offense in defense. Oh, play offense on defense. Go get the ball. Oh, okay. Don't don't, don't back, let it play. Don't back up. Don't they don't. As soon as unless you, it's a rocket. Even there, you stay low. Pop, you know, one a drop step is not backing up. Right. A drop. Pop, got it. So so to me, there's levels, right? You understand it way up here. Yeah. I understand it right here so when you tell me to play offense on defense i'm scared <laughs> no i'm, no, I'm scared no because no, I, I i seen you i saw you i saw you backhand in the baseball the other day and you took three four step pop, 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 you were in second base and then you went through the ball that's playing offense and defense oh well there you go it's okay. it's attacking the baseball it's not being fearful of the hop yeah you make the hop don't let the hop make you even when it's hit hard like You got to go play one step, yep. drop yeah, step, you drop do. step back in, whatever. You know, um, it, it's I, I, it's the same thing you do in right field. Yeah, play, you got to play offense on yeah, defense. You, yeah, you're right. attacking the base where you turn throw. Yeah, you know, exactly. we know when you go into your um, left and you come in, it's over with. Do yeah, not go, do not go to second base. Right, or don't go to third. Or third, yeah. Right, because so, you know you it's going to be quick turn throw. Yeah, yeah. So, thank you, man. Thank you. Okay, thank you for the <laughs> tips. Um, so, have you ever heard of an immaculate grid? No. Okay. Me neither. But we're about to play. <laughs> All right. So, what are we playing? Immaculate grid. There is a. It's a three by three. I seen um, this on Twitter. That's the only place I've ever seen it. Yeah. So I've never played thing. it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know anything about it. So, All right. what we're supposed to do here is. There's a player. A player goes in each screen. A player that played for Baltimore and Cleveland. I have no idea. I have no idea none of these. No? None of them. So, but do you know any of them? In Cleveland? A Cleveland, a, a guy that played for Cleveland. Top of the head, immediately, my favorite player, Roberto Alomar. He didn't, he doesn't have 300. Oh, for, 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 he, he played for Cleveland and Baltimore? Yeah. Maybe. That's your boy, right? With an O. There you go. All Boom. right. Hello. We got on one. On 11%. That's good. Is it? I think. So oh. 11% of the world think like me. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so do you got a, a, you have someone that, that play with Kansas City and Cleveland? Kansas City and Cleveland. I would go with Kansas City. Who Only person I... Only, only, only person I know is no. I don't know. I don't know any. I don't know. Kansas don't, don't City know. and Cleveland. Kansas City and Cleveland. Kansas City and Cleveland. Oh Lord. I don't know none of them. What about 300 wins? You gotta know that. In Cleveland. In Cleveland? Yeah. There's a 300 win. I don't know. You supposed to tell me. I told you I don't know none of them. Oh Lord. There. 300 wins is a lot. That's a lot of wins. Can we get an answer, please? Is it hold up, hold up, hold up? Oh, he said no. I mean, he said hold on. Cy Young. Cy Young. Well, Cy, you better be a Cy, Cy Young if yeah. you got 300 that's, wins. That's a, yeah, Cy, yeah. There you go, 300 <laughs> wins. I don't know. I, I, look, this grid, wh- whoever came up with this grid, that's a great idea. I don't know none of them. This is, this is super this cool. This guy, I mean... Mets and Kansas City. Mets right? and Kansas City. Mets and Baltimore. Mets and Kansas City. Well, I know someone that managed Mets in Baltimore. We can put. Baltimore. I don't know about manage. No, I, I think it's somewhere? play. I think it's only players, and to me, we're not very good at this game. Yeah, it's it's Vargas, Lefty Vargas. Remember Lefty Vargas? 
Oh, he did play for both. Uh, uh, What's his? God, the soft sauce and lefty. <laughs> yeah. He did yeah. play for. He did. Yeah. I, it was uh, Kansas City and New York. He, matter of fact, he pitched in. All, he made an All Star game. Jason Vargas. There you go. Yeah, That's there his you name. Go. Hey. Jason Vargas didn't play. You're in the wrong one. Come on, thought, let's get. Look, come on, get it right. On, let's Jason go. Jason Vargas. Jason Vargas. Come on, here we go. Yeah, three percent. You got that one. Though. <laughs> you're really good at this. No. I mean, it's like you're really good, but you're not. I'm like, not. You get all the low, the low percentages, but we don't have none of the high. We 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 don't think like the regular people. Hello, out there. I ain't thinking it from that perspective. Yeah, we don't. Okay, so <laughs> let's get out. Look, we're not. It would take us all day to do this, and we don't have all yeah. day. So yeah. let's get uh, let's get a quick. Couple fan questions. Couple fan questions. So, oh, Santana, Carlos Santana. Yeah, you're supposed to know that. I'm not supposed to. Know yeah, that. <laughs> you're not. Man, you're not. Bad. Carlos. Um, please. fan question one. Mo, I saw Otani said he was most impressed with you at the All Star game. This is not really a question. Um, can we? Can we? Mo, he, he's, he, um. Oh, what was my reaction to the praise? It, 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 it was cool. You know, whatever. It is what it is. You know, we all know who he is. So we just Come need to on. ask a question about you. It, it, it is, it's whatever, bro. I mean, you know, he got to give the fans what they want. They don't want that reaction. Uh, well, I mean, it, it, it's cool. Give him a better one. Give him that. That's the, that's the humble. Like, yeah, that's the, that's, <sighs> that's just kind of, give the fan that. I kind of, that's kind of how I feel about it. Cause you know, I mean, no shade to Otani at all, but like, he can say that about everybody. You know what I'm saying? About any, like, yeah. You know, he can really say that about uh, so many other people. You, yeah, I, 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 and I, I, I respect him. It, it feels good to be respected by a lot of it people. It does. So that, that, that part is cool. That part is cool. But the, 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 the impressed part, I mean, shoot, you know, anybody can impress anybody. And so I just kind of look at it from. You impress him with your home run derby. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> okay, so another question: What type of music? Do, what type of music do you listen to? Um, reggaeton, salsa. Uh, hey, your tongue just so off rip. Like I, that. I, I like, don't. Hey. I, I I don't. You just did. Listen to me. We have a, there's a thing called frenillo in Spanish. Frenillo is for people that don't roll their R's. Oh. My lips are too big, they get in the way. <laughs> <laughs> they get in the way. Okay. I don't I don't I don't I can do I can do it. Okay. But I don't do it like the real Latino. Oh, okay. I, so you I, fake. I struggle. Yeah, yeah. You fake. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I struggle. Yeah, okay. I struggle a little bit, but I can roll them. I can roll a little bit, you know. Okay, so what um, who would you like your like a couple favorite artists? Um Bad Bunny. 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 Bad
but it does. It is going to cost a pretty penny. So you damn right it will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, see you guys soon. Yeah.